Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today we're going to look at some tips and tricks for one of the machines that gets very little attention in the workshop, the drill press. And if you're new here today, I invite you to take a moment to subscribe, click the little notification bell, and let's go on over to the drill press. Normally my drill press lives here up against the wall, but whenever I want to use it, it's on a little roller stand, I can just roll it out and it's all ready to go. Now easily, <laughs> the most valuable thing are these big magnets that I have here. And I have two of them, they're big semi-round magnets and they fit on the column of my uh, drill press just perfectly and it's a great place for me to hang my the key for my chuck I always know where it is but you know what there are really good quality magnets on the market now you don't need to have these semi round ones anything on there will work just great I just moved my drill press a little bit out of the way so you can see where I store the vise for my drill press it just sits on the wall here there's a couple of uh, screws that it hangs on. Uh, sometimes I have to use a wooden block in the middle of it when I'm holding some things. They just sit right there. A really handy place. You always know where it is. Now one of the things that manufacturers started doing quite a number of years ago, uh, I expect probably to keep down the price of um, drill presses because a lot of the earlier drill presses had wheels on them which were really nice but when they started coming to the these bars like this, I, I often would push this one, then I'd have to move, grab the other one. And I discovered that these things kept getting in the way. So what I did was I took these two off and now I can do all of my drilling with just one bar and I don't have to worry about the other ones getting in the way. It may not work for everybody, but it might be worth trying if you find that that same problem of the, these handles getting in your way. I have one of these little sanding kits that you can use for a portable drill, but it's best in a drill press. And I use it quite a bit because it has different size holes. Now what I find uh, sometimes is it's very hard to hold on to the material. So what I've done, I've made a little platen with a hole in it. And now I can just crank that up to whatever size hole or whatever size sanding drum that I'm using. It's very easy to clamp it down now and it's not going to go anywhere and now it works great for whenever I have something that I want to sand that I want to be able to use both hands with. And you know what, if you have, because there's different sizes, you don't have to use that hole. You, instead of making more platens of this, you just put a, a plate on top of this, a thin plywood plate with the hole size that you want for something like that, if you need something that small. Uh, and then you have an, a plate that will just fit over top that'll now fit each of the sizes that you have. I'm surprised how often I have to drill holes in the edge grain or top grain of wood or things like that, vertical cuts of some kind. And a few weeks ago I showed you how to make these handy little um, right angle holders and I use these, I'll do a close up here, I use these for drilling on my drill press. And all it takes is a clamp down here to clamp it to the table. You can move it around till it works for you. You clamp the piece on there and And that's how quick and easy it is to drill holes in the ends of wood. I have this pie plate that I use that sometimes I keep underneath here, but sometimes if I don't have to clamp something and I need to drill and I want to pick up as much of the material as possible, watch how handy this is. Now this doesn't work for everything. Sometimes you need to clamp uh, and this would get in the way, but uh, sometimes <laughs> it'll save you picking up a lot of material off the floor. Well, that concludes my video for today. Some tips and hacks for the drill press. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.